Hi, this video tutorial I will cover garbage collector. Here you can see memory. In memory, there are uh, five objects are there. In that, uh, three objects has reference and uh, two objects uh, does not have any reference. Object 1, object 3 and object 5 has reference. Object 2 and object 4 does not have any reference. And uh, here you can see garbage collector. And uh, what this uh, garbage collector will do is, it will keep on monitor the memory. And uh, if it finds uh, any object does not have any reference, then it will remove from the memory. And uh, now you can see, garbage collector has removed two objects, object 2 and object 4. because uh, both objects does not have any reference. Here you can see the definition of uh, garbage collector. The Java runtime environment has garbage collector that periodically frees the memory used by the objects that are uh, no longer referenced. The garbage collector does its job automatically when it determines that the time is right. The Java platform allows you to create as many objects you want and you don't have to worry about destroying them. The Java runtime environment deletes objects when it determines that they are no longer being used. This process is called garbage collection. An object is eligible for garbage collection when there are no more references to that object. References that are held in a variable are usually dropped when the variable goes out of scope or you can explicitly drop an object reference by setting the variable to special value null. Remember that program can have multiple references to the same object. All references to an object must be dropped before the object is eligible for garbage collection. Some object oriented languages require that you keep track of all the objects you create and that you explicitly destroy them when they are no longer needed. Managing memory explicitly is uh, tedious and error prone. And uh, this is about uh, garbage collector and uh, thanks for watching.